All right, kind of a kind of a cloudy start this morning, folks. Little storms moving into New Mexico. Uh, it's great here in the kitchen, though. We are here with Catherine Calavera, the wellness uh, department team leader on the West Side La Montanita Co-op Food Market. And Catherine, uh, a lot of people, of course, they're starting 2016 saying, you know, I got to either cleanse, I want to go on a diet, I want to do this, starting a new weightlifting regimen. And we've talked to a lot of personal trainers, and they always say to lose weight, it's 80% diet. There's a, you know, 20% of the workout, but it really depends on what you're fueling your body with. Exactly. Um, a really good way to start a lot of uh, new regimes is to maybe even start a cleanse. Okay. Um, we have several different cleanses at La Montanita. Um, you can go with uh, full body cleanses that'll work on liver, um, urinary tract. Um, it help, has lots of fibers and things to help carry stuff out of the body. Um, if you're trying to, you know, kickstart a diet, we've got a diet cleanse, liver cleanses, smokers cleanses, mm -hmm. which are, are really nice. Um, and this juice that I'm going to do today. Now, yeah. if someone, before we get to the juice, Catherine, uh, because this is something when I've gone in and I've done, you know, as I'm sure a lot of viewers have done, they say, okay, I'm going to do that cleanse. What is the difference between the whole body cleanse versus the liver cleanse? Why would I go with one over the other? Okay, maybe you've already, um, okay, first cleanses and, and whole body cleanses are good to get started with. Okay. Because um, they're going to do a little bit of everything. If you've never done a cleanse before, you've been on medications, or you just want to, you know, do good things, that's where you'll start. Um, let's say um, you, your liver maybe is um, one of your weaker organs, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. You maybe want to go into a liver cleanse. Maybe you've been on a lot of pharmaceutical drugs, perhaps, or uh, you've been a drinker. You've, mm -hmm. you know, not been so, so kind to your liver. Mm -hmm. You can specifically work on liver. Sometimes it's a good idea to go straight to one organ system at a time. As opposed to the whole body. As opposed to the okay. whole thing, especially if you've got a lot going on. Okay, yeah. so obviously we can get these cleanses here, mm -hmm. uh, but you are going to show us, if we don't want to do that, you start in eating healthy and making healthy living a part of our daily lives, so we can do that really easily at La Montanita. Yeah, um, these are all organic uh, vegetables here. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really nice uh, recipe that I learned from healers um, in Mexico. Okay, so what are the and ingredients that we're working with here? Well, you're going to get a, a medium-sized beet, maybe the size of a, a larger lemon. Okay. Uh, three medium-sized carrots, uh, three medium-sized celery stalks, about mm -hmm. you know this big. Um, you're going to take a nice big handful of parsley, which mm -hmm. is very detoxifying. Celery, very detoxifying. Uh, beets good for the liver. Um, you have watercress here, um, almonds and prunes because um, it gives you a little bit more of uh, some protein and some more nutrients for mm -hmm. elimination. Um, and then you're going to put a little bit of orange juice to make it nice and sweet and tasty. Okay. Um, and that's what we're working with here. Yeah, well, let's dive yeah. into it while we're. Uh, it's, it's very so you've, easy. you've done the hard part of cutting it up. Yeah. Now, one thing that I want to just kind of ask here, real quick, Catherine, before we add the beets, mm -hmm. I see the skin is still on this. That's okay. We, yeah, we just throw it in like that. Totally fine. Okay. Don't don't be afraid to to throw in your little leafy parts and that sort of thing. I do cut off the the butts of the uh, carrots because okay. they're a little bit bitter and they're not as tasty as as others would be. Okay. Um, Almonds, when you're putting in your almonds, you want to leave them soaking overnight. It's called blanching them. And you uh -huh. want to take off that skin because in the skin there's an enzyme that inhibits the production, or I'm sorry, the utilization and the absorption of the nutrients in the uh, almond. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay, so oh, we, yeah. so that's why they've been soaking here. That's why they've been soaking, gotcha. exactly. So, and okay. it, it, if you soak them overnight, it's really easy to just peel them and are right Are we going to add this whole bag of prunes here? No, we're going to put three prunes in. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So let's see, three, one, one for two, those three. and one for me. Yeah, very tasty, right, yeah. Um, so now these are all things obviously that we can get at La Montanita Co-op. Mm -hmm. um, if we have questions about some of that, we go in and questions about this. Uh, are there folks that we can go into the La Montanita Co-ops and say, you know, I want to start a cleanse, I want to start eating healthy, that, that can guide us into a certain direction? Absolutely. Um, you come into the, the supplement department and that's usually your best bet. Um, we're the ones that have a little bit more knowledge about the nutrition and that sort of thing. But um, you go in and you even ask the produce manager. I mean, she's going to tell you stuff about her produce. Mm -hmm. um, she's going to, you know, be able to, to give you some some good ideas. Yeah. Um, but like I said, come in, talk to any of us. We are more than happy to help you with whatever it is specifically that you're battling or needing. Okay. Yeah. So now we're going to add the orange juice. We got the dry ingredients in there. How much orange juice are we going to put what in? What I this usually mix? do is, and I like pulp in my orange juice, but yeah, um, I do too. You're just gonna is there a benefit to doing that, by the way? Is it or is it a healthier option to go with the pulp as opposed to the no pulp? Not necessarily. No. I think it's a, a, a textural thing. Okay. Um, there's a lot of people that have like uh, uh, issues um, with colon that may not be able to have the pulp. Gotcha. Because it, okay. It, it, All right. Well, um, multiple locations here in the Duke City guys in the month need to co-op of course up in Santa Fe as well for more information on getting clean in 2016 head over to casa.com Catherine and I we're gonna fire this blender up this awesome blender I'm a little jealous of this blender let's get it going Catherine <laughs> all right we'll be right back folks stay all with right us. thanks <laughs> 